Okay, we are back in Scottsdale National Golf Club, sunny Arizona, and I'm about to take on the back nine. And don't forget, if you've not watched episode one, then pause this video now and hop on over to the channel. This is uh, every single shot of the back nine at Scottsdale National. And don't forget, as a quick reminder, I finished at four over for nine holes. Um, not playing great right now, but we're on 10, par five, hole weave slightly left to right. And uh, that's probably the best drive I've hit of the day so far. As you can see by the quick bend down for the tee, we know that's a good start and uh, right up there on this um, par five. So I've only got hybrid in hand, just over 200 to go. And you can see just by that dip in the knee there and the look down to the ground, I got it a little bit thin off the bottom grooves. Still almost chased up there and I've got very much a kind of linksy style shot, a bit of a bump and run because there's not a lot of green at the back side of the flag, which you'll see now. It probably wasn't a bad effort to be fair, but again, don't forget these greens very, very quick. 14 on the stimp and uh, not too bold. Rolled it down there and to be fair, it was a, uh, it's an easy, comfortable five, but with where the drive was, I should have hit a better second shot with a chance of birdie. But anyway, four over and on to the next, which is a uh, gorgeous wow. hole, one of my favorites on the course, a little par three. Only playing one, three, four from the tees I've got, but as you can see, surrounded by bunkers. It's a nice, easy wedge. Um, you've got to be sort of down that left-hand side as again, there's a bit of a camber for a kick there on that bank in a good position it's right downhill you can see this one again i'm going to say the same thing over and over it's very much a delicate tap but you can see that uh i'll have a listen that you made it yeah i did i, I made a step forward i saw there. it i went went too soon <laughs> <laughs> okay so four over onto a par four uh, i'm hitting very much left to right on the shape shot here So that's two really good drives uh, on the back nine to start the back nine. And again, just to kind of bump and run, I'm playing a bit of link style golf here at the moment, but the pin at the front, no room for error in terms of a wedge. So I'm really happy with where that one's come up to and a real good opportunity at birdie. First one of this nine. Again, really good stroke, happy with the putt. Just stayed up on the high side and stayed four over. So onto a par three, playing one, six, nine. Into the wind a bit, I'm playing five iron. Again, just a little glance down there. I got just a little bit heavy, slightly off the bottom grooves. And uh, this one come up way short and a real awkward bunker shot. Do you know what? I'm more than happy with that, to be honest. It's so awkward for us uh, to play that, but it's come up a way short. And uh, as you can see, it's a massive swing on this putt which I get wrong in terms of the pace, don't get it high enough on the left-hand side and still leaving uh, another good 20 foot for bogey. And unfortunately, I don't make that. And another par three kills me. It's, uh, they're so tough, and this one in particular. So a double takes me to six over. Not good. Anyway, par four. Um, the line is right of the bunker that you can see. Driver off the tee. And again, really happy. That's three drives on the bounce that have gone, well, basically where I'm aiming. Put me in a good position. Don't forget par five, uh, par four rather. Um, I've got five ironing and pin just hidden around the corner a little bit. Really good tempo on that one. And again, this is going pretty much right at the flag that we can't quite see. Uh, from where I've put the camera, which wasn't great. Um, but again, decent birdie chance. Seems like a good stroke, just low on that bottom side. And uh, I'm not going to complain too much about that. Like I said, that was a decent enough putt, but again, not finding a birdie, unfortunately. So it stays at six over. So par five, now another opportunity at 548 yards. Um, not the not the best drive, just come off that one just a tad. But again, getting away with it and uh, now in a really good position. Now on a, a middle of the fairway, three wood in hand. 
And uh, again, Shot Tracer didn't pick it up, but I can think you should be able to see the ball fly. It was a really good strike, to be honest with you, and now put me in a great position. With just one three nine into the flag, I've got nine iron in hand, and um, I'm looking straight down the, the, the flag, to be honest with you. And that was an awful shot. Once again, came off it. And um, what you can't see here is I haven't got a bad lie. So choked down a little bit on a wedge. Popped it up reasonably nice, but you can see again how firm it is. You're not going to get no grab out of the lie that I did have. And um, I've still got a putt to save a par. Which, to be honest with you, from the second shot should not be what I'm putting at. And I've just completely lost my head. Starting to wilt and tire a little bit, I think. And, uh, well... Now I've got this to save a bogey, which is right to left and pacey as they all are. Yeah, absolutely chuffed with that, to be honest with you, to remain seven over, but a disastrous, uh, yeah, pretty poor. Now this is the 16th, it's 135. I had a hole in one 24 hours earlier from just a little bit further back. Pin is left today. And again, not a lot of green in front of it. So I'm just playing a little bit of a cut or a half wedge and just trying to, um, Punch it in a little bit lower. I came up just a tad short, but not um, not a bad shot. A long way to go and up the hill. You see, it just took a little bit of bobble on the rise there. Um, and again, it's kind of it still leaves a, a fiddly one to make par. But thankfully, I managed to do that. So still seven over. So par 4, 17th. I'm starting to wilt a bit physically and uh, I'll hand over to the audio from the course. I knew I've, I've completely gone here. <laughs> yeah, we got away with it again. I think you're going to like that one. I don't think we've had them. Um... This is the first one. Right at the stick. <laughs> so on to 18 can we make a birdie to finish driver in hand another par five um right at the mountain top is the line pretty much got it straight again it was a bit of a low chaser i wouldn't say it was the best driver of the day but like i said considering i'm wilting uh, we got it down there big wide fairway and we're in the middle of it so we'd take that so five iron now which was it's a layup short of the bunker and i sort of quit on it you can tell it's a layup but again, I'd say I got away with it. But left a real sort of awkward yardage. That flag is uh, is slightly tucked away left from where I'm at. The idea was to be further right with the five iron. But leaves a 58 wedge in to finish. That was just a case of trying to keep it nice and smooth. Don't be short and don't be long because you can see the traps waiting either side of that option. And I have got a chance and a look at that birdie. Uh, slightly uphill. So it was, uh, it's a good chance to be fair. Greens roll so, so true, and uh, it was never online, uh, but a decent enough pace. And that's uh, finished things up at seven over. A great help for my caddy, Aaron, around the way. Thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. The course was, as you can see, in immaculate condition. And to be honest with you, like I said, physically, I wilted a lot on that back nine. So glad to finish up with seven over. And probably a little bit better score than I actually played on the day to be honest with you and sometimes golf goes that way anyway like I said thanks for watching give me your feedback uh, in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe if you don't already and I will see you all probably tomorrow night We've got another video upload for tomorrow evening so uh, bye for now